Where is it? Where is it? Not here. Ah, oh, my wallet. There's no time to share with Gran. I'll explain on the way. So long story short, basically, I feel like I haven't in a long time enjoyed photography. You know, when I first started out, I was always taking my camera with me everywhere I go, shooting, editing, having fun. And now I mostly just take my camera along when it's work related, if I'm creating something for the channel or for a client, but I'm not really anymore shooting photos just for fun. So that's where I got this idea that what if I would start taking along with me kind of like an everyday carry camera, not this big bulky camera like an A7S III with a lens and shooting in RAW, but just something I can take with me everywhere I go. And that's when I started seeing everyone talking about the Fujifilm X100V. And at first I was a little bit confused because I was like, isn't that camera like three years old? Why is everyone still so hyped about this camera? But then the more I looked into the camera, I realized what the excitement was about. The Fujifilm X100V is the perfect everyday carry camera. One of those cameras that you just wanna take with you everywhere and capture life's moments. Because A, it's ridiculously small, B, you're not gonna have to necessarily shoot in RAW and have to go through the whole process of editing your photos in post because the Fujifilm X100V has a thing called film recipes. Essentially, you can make your own film presets that are gonna be baked into JPEG photos, meaning you don't have to edit your photos if you don't want to. They're already gonna look really cool. And C, the camera just looks really good. It's got this nice film camera look, which is gonna make you wanna take the camera along with you and have a nice addition to your outfit of the day. Now, at this point, I was already super excited about getting into photography again, and I was about to order the Fujifilm X100V when all of a sudden I realized it sold out everywhere. Literally, I went to every single online store in all of Finland, every single store was sold out. I went and started looking in Sweden, I started looking at Amazon Germany, I started looking on eBay, and there was no cameras available. There was a few used ones, but they were going for like double the price of the brand new price, and I was like, Okay, I don't know if I'm that excited about getting into photography and I don't know if I have the budget for that. So at this point, I was pretty much ready to throw in the towel. I didn't think I was gonna get my hands on the Fuji X100V. That is until I decided to try one last time calling my local camera shop Fotoforma asking, when will the next shipment come? And the owner of the store, Yarko, is actually like, in fact, I do have one body right now. Someone else has bought it, but they haven't said they want it or not. So I'm gonna call them and ask, do they want the camera? And lo and behold, a few hours later, Yarko, the owner of the store, called me and said, the camera body is yours. Come and get it. And that's why I was in such a rush to go find my wallet and to go get the camera, because I don't want someone else to come and snatch the camera before me. Yarko, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Customer is happy. There's only one way to end this video and that's with an unboxing of the Fujifilm X100V. Thanks again to the guys at Photopharma because without them, I would not have my hands on this camera right now because it was looking pretty dang grim. All right, let's open up the box. Got the instructions. Open it up. Woo. Look at this camera. That looks so dang sleek. Here we got the shutter speed and sensitivity dial. We got some exposure compensation. And then with here we can adjust the aperture. I really like that feel that you get to kind of control it all as if you're kind of like shooting with a film camera, which is not something I'm too familiar with, but I've always been really interested and intrigued by it. Just look at this camera. Man, I'm, I'm so excited to start shooting with this, play around with the film recipes, and really just get back into photography because I feel like it's been way too long that I've been just shooting for fun, and this has officially become my everyday carry camera. There's only one thing left to do, go out and shoot. Luckily it's my son's first birthday party this weekend, so I'm gonna be that daddy cam guy shooting and capturing moments all weekend long.